Hey guys, what's going on? We need to talk about all these things we see pop popping up in the news of um, warehouse fires or train derailments. Because none of us really know what exactly is going on. Are we under attack? Or is just just confirmation bias? Let's get into this video. So just today, I had to write these down because there are so many. This today, February 21st, 2023. Fire at production plant, Fayetteville, West Virginia. Fire explosion at industrial building in Medley, Florida. Fire at lumber storage building in Williams, Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Train derailment in Gothenburg, Nebraska. And it's only 1.30 here in the central time central standard time here in the united states i'm on the fence and it really doesn't matter what i think because we really don't know what's going on unless you have uh, high clearance but um why does this keep happening is it the media is just hopping all over it yeah some of it could be that but if you look closely a lot of these plants are happening or or Derailments or fires are happening at plants where they produce plastics or metals or lumber, and that's infrastructure. In the fog of war, the enemy usually attacks these things before big, big, blatant attacks. It gets me wondering what exactly is going on. The whole chemical derailment spill in Ohio I mean that's contaminated so much and it's still killing people and it's tragic and it, it uh, anybody whose lives were lost in any of these is tragic it gets you it gets the wheels turning definitely in your head thinking there really are no coincidences I get it there are over 1500 train derailments each year and Ohio's really brought and uh, to the forefront of train derailments because it was so tragic and bad. But why does this keep happening in so, such a frequent pace? And the things that are being set on fire, or the buildings that are being set on fire, or manufacturing plants, or the trains that are derailing, It's getting, it's getting to the point where it's almost too much coincidence. But what does that mean for us? What can we do about it? Obviously not panic. Obviously not lose our, lose our shit. Keep a very close full eye. Watch on it each day and see what's going on. If there's something in your area that catches fire and it could be toxic and it's blooming smoke, might be a good idea to... You know, do you need that gas mask? You might. You might need to get it. Big fan of Mira safety gas masks and filters. Do you need to have that go bag packed up and ready to go in case you need to get out of the way of a train derailment farther in town and the smoke starts pluming towards your house or your water supply becomes contaminated? Do you have backups to water? Very interesting time we're living in here. Because stuff is happening at such a fast pace, whether it's media just swarming on stuff, which they always do that, but stuff's happening. No matter if you think it's a coincidence or if it's actually a coordinated attack, which as day by day this goes on and I see the things that are catching fire once I, once again catching fire and de derailing chemicals metal lumber plastics like don't think this is a coincidence I'm starting to not lean towards it's not but like i said what can i do about it nothing what can i do here on my home front about it make sure my backup water is good my backup filters are good make sure my family and i have breathing apparatuses to clean the air in case we need it 
make sure our evacuation plan is dusted off and we understand it. Every Everyone in the family understands it. Keep a, a close watchful eye on everything. It's about all I can do. Times are getting scary and they're gonna keep getting that way. And it's gonna keep happening. It's gonna get, the fire rises and it builds. And we can either try to turn a blind eye to it and act like it's not happening or face it full front and take it on and do what we can to help our family and ours to, or us and our family to make sure we're protected and it won't affect us that much. Appreciate you guys checking out this video. I hope you um, aren't in any of these affected areas that are blooming smoke or toxic chemicals right now. Pray for everyone that's affected by it. Keep your ear to the wind. Keep your eyes open. If something like this happens in your area. You need to act quickly. All right, guys. Keep a watchful eye. Appreciate you checking out this video. Stay alert. Get ready.